Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Cannot say that enough. You know, we've been uh, breaking records and then breaking yeah. the records of the records, right, right Ivan? Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what we did today. Hadn't been this hot in uh, three years. Back in 2020, when we had uh, an entire week of uh, just, you know, daily afternoon uh, records here, we've been doing that so far in July as well, with uh, six uh, days there uh, well above average, and we've had four record highs already. We talked about the almanac there. 92 degrees uh, right now is the current number. Still feels like 97 despite the cloud covers. Don't let that fool you. Still, because of the steam. Uh, out there will continue to feel quite oppressive. So there's that number 97 uh, record for the day, hottest of the year and hottest of three 97 in Miami, 93 in uh, Fort Lauderdale and Homestead. And we're right sitting still in the low 90s without factoring in the humidity. That's what the numbers are. And Fort Lauderdale, you see there 81 with the feels like a 87 with the showers and storms that roll through. But Miami still holding on to that 104. I think that is about to change as we get some showers and we'll talk about that uh, for the next uh, couple of hours for you into a brow where we go and this is where we have that flood advisory that has expired from some very heavy rainfall that rolled through an explosive thunderstorm there with one to three inches. That storm triggered an outflow boundary that has now created kind of a patchwork here of uh, showers and storms, some embedded lightning from Southwest ranches and then along 836. And then you go down towards uh, Aventura. That's also some heavy rain uh, as well with a couple of lightning strikes. You see the movement here. There's that boundary that came in. All of a sudden you have nothing and then you have all these uh, you know downpours that continue moving to the north and east, but they're moving rather quickly here. So we're not going to get stuck and I don't think we're going to get uh, you know a lot of flood advisories thankfully because of that we'll put rain tracker into motion Although not doing a great job of what we call initializing here, uh, in, 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 analyzing the atmosphere, but still you get the gist of it, right? Everything pushing towards the east at around 7 or 8 o'clock, and then I think we'll be done as we hit into um, the evening. Still a hot Saturday underway. I think we'll have temperatures again tomorrow, either time, breaking records. We'll have the heat advisory for several hours during the afternoon, but then we'll also get the cooling thunderstorms we got today with that southwest push continuing for a Saturday before we get into that Saharan dust. As we head into Sunday and early next week, it will uh, likely suppress our rain chances here. We'll put a rain tracker in motion. Wake up early enough Saturday looking good. And then by midday, we'll see the clouds billowing up. Showers and thunderstorms then begin to get going. And then everything pushes to the east before we get into a drier pattern for Sunday and early next week. In the tropics, very quiet because of that Saharan air that continues coming off Africa. Some decent plumes. In fact, the first one, less concentration here than this second one that we're going to have to watch her next week. Both of course, suppressing any tropical activity, but there's the little batch that moves in for Sunday, which will lower our rain chances. It'll create hazy skies. I don't want you to think you're going to wake up on Sunday and the sky is going to be red or anything. It's a low concentration, but still, I think enough to put a kibosh on the thunderstorms. Looking good on the beach. Extreme UV index. First 10 minutes. That's all you got uh, to get the sunscreen on. You start burning temperatures in the afternoon tomorrow. Then in the low to mid 90s, I think we'll hit about 95. and We're going to stay that way. Look at the rain chances. So from 50 down to 20 and we'll keep it low there through next week.